Paul Kagame is poised to win a third term in office with a landslide. Kagame, who has been in power for 17 years, has two weak opponents and is banking on his development track record as the basis of, the, of his re-election bid after pushing for constitutional reforms to allow him vie for another term. Ken Aseka is up next with that story. Millions of Rwandans will cast their votes today in the country's third presidential election since an estimated 800,000 people were killed in a genocide 23 years ago. The presidential race appears to be one-sided, with President Paul Kagame of Rwandan Patriotic Front, RPF, headed for a third seven-year term in office. Kagame faces almost no opposition, with the two little-known candidates challenging his ambition. Frank Habineza of the Democratic Green Party, the only permitted political opposition party, and independent candidate Philippe Mpaimana face an unwinnable battle. Kagame has repeatedly said that the outcome of the poll is a foregone conclusion. We do have much hope because we know that the people of Rwanda want change. People of Rwanda have seen the same government for the last 23 years. They want to see a new government and we have a good policies, better policies than the current government. And also we prom promise Rwanda, Rwanda is a better hope. Born on October 23, 1957, Kagame first served as vice president and defense minister and was appointed as president by lawmakers in 2000. He was first elected to the post in 2003 and again in 2010 with more than 90 percent of votes. He is credited with a remarkable turnaround in the shattered nation, bringing order, stability, infrastructure, and annual economic growth of about 7%. Growth rates have been consistently high, with Kigali transformed from a carnal house into a city of clean roads, traffic lights, shiny new hotels, and conference centers. Talking about you know the vets and the, and the, and the risks. I mean the government has put in all these assets, um, you know road structure, airline, convention center, hotels with with private sector funding. So there's a need now for the private sector to come in. However, rights groups accuse him of ruling through fear, relying on a systematic repression of the opposition, free speech, and the media. Critics have been assassinated, jailed, or forced into exile, and some observers believe that the only reason Habineza and Impaimana have been allowed to run is that they pose no threat to one Paul Kagame. Uh, we, we, will, we will not question our capability to win. We know that people, many people are tired of the same government for the last 23 years, but they don't say it because there has been a climate of fear for a long time. People have been fearing to speak out uh, their mind. Rwanda has 6.9 million registered voters across the East African nation, known as the land of a thousand hills. And today, Rwandans have a day to with destiny, with three options, but one clear favorite. Kenaseka, KTN News. Clearly, it is a busy month uh, right here in East Africa. Kenya is preparing for its election in three days, and Rwandans are going to the polls 